Hey guys, it's Half I am back again, and this is going to be an update of my Team Project Pan 2020. I did not update this last month. <laughs> I think I filmed like two videos last month or something. Did not do great. However, I am back, and I am going to update this thing. I have not finished anything, but I have decluttered. No, I have finished one thing, and I've decluttered something. Even though this is not the point at which we're supposed to do that. My project. Oh. Okay, so let's get into it. I will, of course, insert on the screen um, the change in the weight. I have not been wearing a lot of makeup because I haven't been living in the house. Um, and I haven't really been doing my skincare very well. Uh, yeah. So there's not huge changes, but there are some changes. Um, I'm also filming on a new camera not exactly sure <laughs> what I'm doing yet we'll find out um, it kind of gives me a time limit too so I can't mess around too much okay first up we have the Maybelline uh, baby skin uh, these were away before I did my makeup today so they're a little bit out but close enough um, yeah so there's that one not quite finished I don't think there's much left in that one um, the NYX Total Control Drops Foundation, um, it's actually like down about here-ish, so um, I've of course used it so I shook it up and you can't tell. Uh, the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 05 uh, Ivory, um, there's not a huge amount left in this. It will be finished when it is finished. The Artist Selection um, HD powder. Um, it's um, there's not a huge amount left of this one. We're slowly but surely getting there, which is good. Um, this one is even better. This one is almost done. This is the Physicians Formula mineral finishing veil which doesn't come in this container it comes in a different container but it's it's like it's across there there's really not too much left of this which I'm super happy about I've been trying to finish that for like three years now uh, the revolution beauty uh, eye primer I couldn't remember what it is um, yeah it's it's been used every time I've done makeup, so yeah. Um, let's see, what have we got? The replacement, last month I replaced this for the clean colour one. This one is actually a slightly better colour. Um, even though it looks like it's like... Um, it actually is quite a bit softer in colour. Um, as a bronzer it's a bit lighter in color so it actually works a lot better than the clean color one did which is great um, the Lacura soft rose and rose blush does not look any different but I have used it a few times the daybreak um, ombre highlighter from models prefer um, Highlighters tend to move faster for me than others because I like highlighter. Um, yeah, it's got kind of like a wear mark in it. It's a bit hard to see, but it's there. Um, the good one is my Havana uh, contour from Astralis. I have pan in it right there. I hit pan not today, but the last time I did my makeup. Because I sometimes use it as um, an eye contour. So I'm really happy about that. I have pan in a product. Yay. Yay for me. Um, let's see. Eyebrow products. Now, this is where we have a declutter. We have this eyebrow pencil, which I've been using since the start of the year. And I've complained multiple times that it's too warm. Um, and it, I've started doing my eyebrows a little bit differently, like... I have more eyebrow, if you've noticed. Um, I've been 
doing them differently. Um, and with the too warm, it just looks really, really weird. So I have changed it out for this eyebrow pencil. This came, I believe, in a Mimi box, which means it's like old. Um, it's from Korea. It has one of those weird elliptical kind of shaped um, ends on it. I don't think my camera will Come okay, on camera. It's a weird shape. There we go. It's kind of a weird shape. Um, but I'm quite enjoying it so far. It's a much better color. It's much ashier, which works a lot better. It's also got a big smallie on the end of it. So I have moved that one in and I will be getting rid of the other one because it really just doesn't work for me. Uh, we have the Australis Tint My Brow, which is still going strong. It's still got heaps of product in there. It doesn't exactly hold my brows. It just helps with the colouring of my brows, basically. Eyeliners. We have the um, Lancome Noir. Um, it's still going. I mean, it's not... You'd think with that much it wouldn't last long, but I don't use a lot of eyeliner. Um, and the Rimmel Exaggerate in the nude one uh, hasn't changed. I maybe used it once. Uh, On to lip products. Oh, wait. Let's try. The Balm What's Your Type Mascara. It's still going strong. Yes, I know I've been using it since the start of the year. Yes, I know we're into the six month. Do I care? No, I do not. I don't wear it every day. If I did, it would already be gone. Um, our, my fixing spray is the Revolution uh, Illuminating Fixing Spray. The sprayer on this is terrible. It is awful. It is the literal worst. You get big blobs on your face. Not pleasant. However, not much I can do about that. I suppose I could decant it, but I ain't going to. Uh, so for lips, we have the Inoxa lip liner in Mocha Rush. Not a huge change, but the MAC Vegas Vault lipstick has not changed. It looks exactly the same and it weighs exactly the same. Uh, the NYX Liquid Suede in Tea and Cookies has been used a few times, so it has actually moved. Yay! And the Wine All Mine... Uh, lip gloss thing I've actually used this a couple of times but it hasn't changed its weight which is kind of annoying um, uh, and the I forgot the mellow eyeliner the gel eyeliner it's moved a little bit I've used it maybe once but I think I did a really dramatic wing so I used quite a bit so then we get on to the skin carry stuff uh, the lip balm from Pretty for Your Face the Taste of the Rainbow one it is getting there very slowly. We have that much left. So that's good. We will get there eventually. I probably should have already used it up. But, um, the Jelly Bean Lip Scrub also from Pretty's For Your Face. It's getting there. It's kind of hard to get it out though because it's a pot. I've decided I prefer a lip scrub to be either in a stick like the elf one or in a tube that you squeeze out like another one that I recently had. On to eye creams. We have the Lacura Renew Expert Double Effect Eye Gel. I've been using this for ages and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. It's one of them airless pump things and it just keeps on pumping stuff out. So good value for money this one. <laughs> The other eye cream is my night eye cream, which is the Elucent Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This hasn't moved very much because I've been really bad with my nighttime skincare. Um, then we have this, which is super annoying. This is the Lacura Revive Anti-Aging Moisture Boost Serum, which I really like how it feels. It's like really nice, but I was starting to have trouble getting it out. Like I had trouble getting out enough today. And so I actually pulled it apart and it's one of these ones that's got the weird um, 
like bag thing on the end of the um and yeah there's still product in there but it's being difficult to get out i and there's like all this product like up in here which is like super annoying so i might have to pull it apart even further to try and get some more out of it but of course now i've pulled it out of here i can't get it back in but this hasn't lasted me anywhere near as long as i thought it should so kind of annoyed by that one the night cream that i have is the Lacura expert renew um it doesn't look too much different again i haven't really been doing my nighttime skincare um, I also don't like that this is in a tub. My day cream is the Lacura Daily Face 15 Q10 Anti Wrinkle. It's just quite nice. Um, yeah, this it is what it is. And lastly, I finished the hand cream that I had in last time, which was I think a Lacura one. Um, and then I kind of fiddled around with what I was gonna use and then i found this one i actually went and bought it i probably have creams i could use as hand creams but i didn't um this is from thank you that's actually the name of the brand um their profits apparently help end poverty uh, this is the botanical red ginger and blood orange hand cream um i bought it because it's a blood orange and i like citrus scents um um, as you can see I've already used a fair whack of it um, but yeah so that is a new addition to the project and that is it that is everything that was in this particular project uh, probably not doing as well as I would have been doing if it wasn't for all the shit going on but anyway uh, yeah, so if you are here from another channel that is doing Team Project Pan 2020, hey! Um, and I will link Kat and Hayley down below who are the ones who started it from Beauty News. Um, Kat's now had her baby, cute little boy. Uh, yeah, so that is it for this video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the little bell. If you want to get notified when I upload new content, leave me a thumbs up if you like Project Pan Pop videos and leave me a comment down below. I will like your comment and I will answer any questions you ask me and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.